Hey everyone, before I get started on three affordable ways to store and protect your happy planner, I would really appreciate it if you could leave some questions for me for an upcoming Q&A video that I have in the next couple of weeks in the comments down below. And your questions don't have to be planner related. You feel free to ask me anything that you'd like and I will try to answer as many questions as possible, if not all. The first way that you can store or protect your happy planner is using a laptop sleeve. This is by Kinmac. I purchased it on Amazon and it's for a 13.3 inch laptop. So for this, the happy planner just slides right in and there's still some space left over on the side here. What I do is I just slip my pencil pouch right in here and I can easily zip it up. And this is great if you are a student. What I used to do, I just graduated, but I would keep my planner in this pouch and I would slip it right into my backpack and it would be protected from scratches or bending. If you're a student, this is a great option. It can also fit into a larger purse if you have one of those. The second way is using a larger bag. This is a yoga bag that I purchased from Target it's by um, French Bowl Yoga Bag. And although this specific pattern is not being sold anymore, they are selling the same purse, but just with a uh, different fabric. But it's still the same sturdy fabric. I've been using this for about two years. I haven't had any problems with it. And I use, right now I'm using it every single day. And the reason why I love this yoga bag is first of all, there are plenty of zippers inside for storing things like like that pencil pouch it can easily slip into this zipper pouch on the inside there's also a zipper on the outside and on the other side of the bag and this zipper pouch right here is the perfect size for fitting a classic size happy planner so you see it just slips right in and because there's a pocket that fits just the happy planner it's very protected and so i don't have to worry about the happy planner getting scratched or bent up during the day so whenever i head out either i'm traveling or I need to go shopping, this bag works great for that. And it can be zipped shut so you don't have to worry about any items falling out of your purse. <laughs> and if you have a big size happy planner, this, um, this is a big size happy planner that's in a Martha Stewart notebook. And I will leave ha um, that down below for you in the links the video for how to transfer a big happy planner into a Martha Stewart notebook. This also is a very good size for the big happy planner. So sometimes I use two, more than one planner at the same time so I can fit my classic size here, my big happy planner in this larger pouch and my pencil pouch in here very easily and any other planning supplies that I need in this bag. So it's been working great so far. And the third way to either store or protect your happy planner is by making your own fabric cover for your planner. So they are selling covers by me and my big ideas, size for the happy planner, but those are really expensive. So I personally didn't want to have to spend that much money on them and they're also really big and bulky but if you make a fabric cover then it's not big and bulky and it's also much much cheaper so I have a video that I will link down below for you in the description box on how you can sew your own fabric cover um, I just use fabric that I already had laying around the house so 
that's a great way to save money. So I hope this video gave you some ideas for not only just storing your planner, for planning on the go, or protecting your planner. And once again, I would really appreciate it if you could leave those comments with any questions that you have in the comments down below so that I can use it in an upcoming Q&A video. I really would love to get your feedback and participation in this community. And I'm so glad you're here to watch these videos. It means so much to me and all of your support just really is what keeps me going. So thank you again for sticking around and uh, supporting this channel. If you'd like to see more planner ideas, please check out my Instagram at Personalize My Planner, and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye! Bye.